First off, I would like to congratulate and thank all viewers who made it this far in the tutorial series. The remaining videos in this playlist will deal with the packaging and exporting of project data from ArcPro. In this video, we will discuss and export layer files and layer packages. So what is a layer file? Each item in your contents pane can be referred to as a layer. Some are single layers, while others are group layers. We created many group layers in this project in order to keep our contents pane tidy. So what if you wanted to share some of these layers? Layer files have the LYRX suffix. They store multiple layers and or group layers at the root level. Therefore, a reference to a layer file will be a reference to a list of layers, either single or grouped. So why do we care? Well, layer files are a convenient way to save and export individual data layers if you wanted to quickly move them to another project or another computer, or if you wanted to share mapping results with colleagues, collaborators, or employers. Layer files are convenient because they are small in file size, so you can typically send them over email. When you add a layer file to a map or ARC project, it draws them exactly as it was saved provided that the data referenced by the layer is still accessible. I'll show you what this means in a second. First, to save a layer file, right-click the layer you want to share, then click Sharing, then Save as a Layer File. I will do this both for the Mapping Group layer and the Base Map Group layer. I will also affix the SP prefix to these layer files to remain internally consistent. Now, let me show you what happens when you try to open a layer file without the proper data reference. Here is a blank ArcPro project. I'm going to make a quick folder connection to where I had saved the mapping and base map layer files. Now, when I add the layer files to the map, they appear in the contents pane. But when I expand the group layers, we get these red exclamation mark error symbols. If you ever see this symbol, it means that the original data reference has been lost or broken. Thus, ArcPro is unable to show the data within the layer. A layer file on its own will not display data unless it has reference to the original Geo database where it was created. In this case, our SP Tutorial Geo database. You can repair the data pathway by clicking on one of the red exclamation marks. In the file directory, you must locate the geodatabase that stores the original data. In this example, I have linked the map border layer to its original source in the SP Tutorial geodatabase. ArcPro will then recognize the other broken data paths and repair them. So if you are trying to save and export data and the person you are sending it to will not have access to the original geodatabase, you want to create what is called a layer package instead. Here I will demonstrate. Let's say you want to just export the mapping and base maps group layer together, along with the necessary source data that is required to view the data. Click and highlight both the mapping and base maps group layers by holding down the shift key. Then right click and go to sharing. This time we will do save as a layer package. Here you have the option to upload it to an ArcGIS online account if you have one, but I will just show you how to make a local file. Click on save package to file, then quickly check the layers tab to make sure that it contains both group layers. Specify where you want to save the package. I will rename mine SP Mapping and Base Maps and save it to my desktop for demonstration. Click Save, then click Analyze. Once that's done, click Package. Now, when I open the layer package on my desktop, we see that the map shows up right away and that there are no red exclamation marks with broken data sources. A quick check on the final size of this map package shows that it is 34.9 megabytes. This size is maybe slightly too large for an email, but is still fairly small, all things considered. To summarize, layer files are only convenient if you have access to the original geo database in which the data is stored. Layer packages, on the other hand, do not require access to the original geo database but generally have a slightly larger file size. 
Both methods are good for sharing data if you want to just share individual data layers. In the final video of this playlist, I will show you how to export the ArcPro project in its entirety.